Early warning saves lives during a disaster such as a tsunami, earthquake or hurricane. And now Tobago has scaled up its preparedness with the help of two new U.S.-funded solar-powered warning systems on the island. Director of the Tobago Emergency Management Agency, Alan Stewart, explains. With the recent addition of these two systems, our island now has a coverage of 60% of the Southwest area and 60% of the Scarborough area for to ensure our systems are always ready. The early warning systems cost US $28,000 and sends out a sound that people can hear over most of the low-lying areas in the Southwest end of the island. This brings to four the number of multi-hazard early warning systems located in Crown Point, Bonacord, Canaan and Scarborough. However, Stuart emphasized that the warning will not work if people do not respond if a disaster occurs. The local community, let me say that again slowly, the local community ability to respond to warning receive is integral to all of this. Therefore, each and every one of us has a responsibility to acquaint ourselves with our island's emergency evacuation plans namely those for Southwest Tobago and also Scarborough. Charge the affairs of the U.S. Embassy Margaret Jopp said the financial assistance meets their need for ensuring security, enhancing stability and enabling partnerships. She pointed out these early warning systems can help reduce economic, social and political costs in the wake of a disaster. Over the years, we in the U.S. have learned that communication is vital in, in disaster response. When we have succeeded in mitigating disaster, it's often because of strong communication networks, and good communication requires practice. But when communication breaks down, disasters can become tragedies. Tima said that in its effort to ensure Tobago is ready if disaster strikes, the agency will monitor the vulnerabilities of communities, especially those along the coastline, and partner with the Met Services. Meanwhile, Chief Secretary Over London said in his remarks that the THA will continue to give its support. The risk reduction in the final analysis is linked to the attitude and the mindset of the people. I want to give... Tima, I want to give the people of Tobago, I want to give the U.S. Embassy the assurance that the Tobago House of Assembly will continue to do what is necessary to provide the resources because we too are, have recognized that you have to make the investment even when it seems that there is no need to. The first two sirens were bought by the Tobago House of Assembly and are compatible with the new additions. The transportation and installation cost of the two new systems also came out of the Tobago budget allocation. Reporting from Tobago, Natoya Johnson, News 4.